I chose to become the peacock because we both share a love of the spotlight. When I was five years old, I walked onto a stage for the first time. And from that day on, I was hooked. Piano is a clue. Putting on a show is in my DNA. <laughs> it's giving me Vegas vibes. But it's probably been a while since your mom had a poster of me on her bedroom wall. I guess it's not Johnny Weir if he's been famous for a while. As my dear friend Michael Jackson once told me, Ow! if you're going to reinvent yourself, you have to become someone the world has never seen before. So here goes. It's never too late for this showman to make a comeback. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. And buried in your bones is an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that's real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for your run and it's hey, no. it's yeah, boys, and it's it comes out. Your fever dream, can't you see it getting closer? Just surrender, cause you Gosh, I know that voice. Over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flood. He's a open. performer. It's a preacher in the puppet, and you find a potion. Except the brick and at the brick of every wall that's holding on. on that stage for the first time. I loved being able to perform without anyone knowing who I was. It was absolutely exhilarating, and I felt like I was five years old again. Way to kick it off, buddy. This show appealed to me so much because I've had so many different incarnations of my career, and everyone thinks they know me. I started out as a little teeny bopper, but there's more than meets the eye. So magician, yeah. maybe again, but that's Nicole's thing. Peacock and Teller. Then I was cast in some dramatic roles. Some dramatic roles? You could be an actor. Yeah, a little bit of everything. And tonight, I'm going to push myself harder than I ever have before by performing on a 30-foot lift. In a mask in which I can barely see my own feet. Oh, and did I mention I have a terrible fear of heights? Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be wow. Baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yes, we'll be counting stars Swinging by, swing my heart across the line. In my face is flashing signs. I can't figure it out, and we shall find the old. But I'm not that old. Like young. Peacock Elvis. But I'm not that old. I don't think the world is sold. I'm just doing what we're told. His voice yeah. sounds younger. Makes me feel alive.
Peacock, one of the favorites. Being behind a mask has been very strange and very lonely. Let me tell you, like before my last performance, I was standing all alone getting ready and I couldn't even talk to the crew because I had to remain anonymous. Without this mask, everyone recognizes me and they want to chat. But here, I feel invisible. It's like my entire career just disappeared into thin air. I mean, I told you he's a magician from the start. By day, I perform as my 176 pound real self. Matador. Or a bullfighter. Wait, like that, that's a rainbow. Neil Patrick Harris. But by night, I ride into the competition masked and ready for battle. David Hasselhoff, knight? Knight Rider? Winning would mean everything to me. So as my opponents step up their game, I am going to step up mine, and I'm going to give the world all of me. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. Got my head spinning, no kidding. I can't bring you down. My head's underwater. His voice has a mature sound to it. Maybe Sean Cassidy. I've been getting fan mail since I was a wee little pea chick. After all, I started my career as a showbiz prodigy, and it's led me down many different magical paths. Magic again. You're a magician. I've performed on stages, screen. I've hosted award shows. From hosting award shows. Neil Patrick Harris, maybe? And I've accumulated fans all over the world, including knights, kings, and queens. Oh, maybe British? You had the little Queen Elizabeth? Elton John? But the crazy thing is, those fans don't even know I'm here. I am one performance away from the semifinal, and I am more determined than ever to outshine the rest of the singers. Mama, this peacock is very cocky also. That's Neil Patrick Harris. I want this so badly, I can't feel my face. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry no more. Things are not good. Again with the magic! Last week my performance wasn't my best. Robin felt the song wasn't suited to my style. When you do a smoother song, it doesn't lend to your over-the-top ability. The thing is, I'm a perfectionist when I perform. And I hate to let my little soldiers of affection down. That sounds like a clue. I pride myself in being the brightest, most well-rounded performer of the flock. So this week, 
I'm gonna give it everything I've got to be the idol that they all deserve. American Idol. It's Ryan Seacrest. Clay Aiken. I'm bringing in the energy and heat with this song that will have you flying out of your seats. Tonight, I'm making it all about you, my beloved peahens. Because, after all, it had to be you. First time I strutted onto the Mass Singer stage, I felt 100% at home as the peacock. Tell me, do you wanna go? Yeah! Performing in this mask has made me fearless. People cannot judge me based on what they've read, what they've seen, or what they've heard about me. I am free. In my career, I have done it all. Sing, dance, act, host, Broadway star. And I have lived nearly every dream I've had. Ricky Schroeder? The key to my success is this. I don't relax. When I go home at night, I walk in the door walking like a peacock. I'm always thinking about how to improve. I watch videos of my performances. I go through the vocals in my mind over and over again. Studies the game tape like any good peacock. I am a perfectionist and I love it. And I hate it. He's a hard worker and it's paying off. He's in the finale. On this stage, I became the peacock. Now the only question I have is, can I also become the champion? Winning would mean everything to me. And I am more determined than ever to finish my comeback with another feather in my cap. Do you think the peacock really is? There were so many things from the uh, performing for kings and queens. He's also a magician, tap dance ballet, and he mentioned that uh, he was inspired by the Blurred Line song, which he parodied and released an album four years ago. So I'm going to stick with my otherworldly guess of Weird Al Yankovic. It's actually a really <laughs> great guess, and it's been driving me crazy all of these weeks trying to figure out who you are because you're so 
talented and you're perfectionist. And I know there's a lot yeah. of artists that are, but Child Prodigy, knows how to play the piano, award shows. So I'm gonna go with Donny Osmond. <laughs> or Neil Patrick Harris, but I can only pick one. All right, all right. Oh man, this is tough. This is really tough. Like Jenny, to be brutally honest, I, I'm, I, it's a toss up between Neil Patrick Harris and Donny Osmond. It's hard to get out of your head. It's, once it's really you have hard. That in there. Yeah, and okay, I'll pick Neil Patrick Harris because I just think he's good at everything. He plays cards, you know, he's magic. I'm going with these two over here on the right. It's either Neil or Donnie. I'm just, I'll, I'll just go with Neil Patrick Harris. Okay, good guess. A lot of Neil Patrick Harris is up there. Keenan Thompson. I, I think I'm gonna go with Weird Al Yankovic. Okay, panel, you've made your final guesses, and after eight weeks, it's time to finally reveal the Peacock. Peacock, show us all who's behind the mask. Take it up! crazy show like this because it's fun yes, yes. exactly yes. i had the time of my life here man it's the best thing in my life it's better than being donny osmond <laughs> right <laughs> come on that's saying a lot I, I've known you for a long time. We go time. way back, Jenny. Way back. Yeah. And I know that you're such a professional and you were amazing and well, it made I, me cry. Literally. I want you to know I've been doing Vegas every night that I've been doing this, too. Oh what? My God. What? <laughs> what? He's been leaving here, jumping on a plane, no. and going to Vegas. Uh, that's yeah. amazing. No. Yeah. Again. Are there any big clues that we may have missed that could have gave it away? The wig. Yeah, what's yeah. The Did wig? you get the wig? What was the wig? That's the wig I wore in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Joseph gets thrown into jail. I knew something uh, like that. 